Yeah, uh, Sean Marshall opened the batting with Chris Rogers. Um, myself, three. Vogues, four. Mitchell Marsh, five. Haddon, six. Neville, seven. Now it gets confusing. <laughs> uh, I think it's Siddle, eight. Line, nine. Hazelwood, ten. And Fuzz is 11, yeah. So, um, yeah, look, obviously I think we've got to be smart with, with the guys that are um, just got off a plane and, and we're obviously waiting for, for Watto and Starkey to arrive as well. So um, I think we've obviously made, um, obviously picked the team based on allowing guys to recover as well as they possibly can. And then for, for the 11 players taking the field, it's an opportunity to get used to the conditions and, and prepare for the first test, but also... Um, you know, 16 players on tour, you can only pick 11. So for the guys that aren't um, aren't already in the 11 to fight their way in. And Sean as well, yeah, I think those four guys definitely have a great opportunity to, um, yeah, to fight their way into the 11. I guess the the two spinner thing will, will be dictated by conditions. Um, I think we'll wait and see what we get in Dominica. But, you know, looking at the, the games England played here against the West Indies, the ball spun a fair bit. So... Um, yeah, it's nice to have options, that's for sure. Yeah, Hads will keep, yeah, I think so. I, d I don't know what Hads are going to do in the second innings, but certainly in the first innings, Hads will be keeping. Um, see how long we field for and see how he pulls up. But, um, yeah, Hads, I'm knowing Brad as well as I do, he'll want to prepare as well as possible for the first test. I've, I, always, I always like um, the tour games to be first class. I think it's... I think it's more appropriate for, for both teams. Um, obviously, there's there's strengths and weaknesses to both. It means you can only play 11. So if you're trying to give guys an opportunity leading up to a test match, it's hard with only 11 players. Um, more workload for the bowlers. But, yeah, I've, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit old school there. I just I like the traditional tour games to be first class. So, you, yeah, you um, you want to win as, a, as an away team. Um, Certainly, and uh, I think if you can, in a couple of those first-class games, you can build momentum, have a couple of wins there. Obviously, you're getting used to the conditions, but you take a lot of confidence from that into the test match as well, or the test matches. I think if they're just tour games, guys coming on and off the field, you know, one day you're playing, you know, 16, the next day you're playing 11, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem, uh, certainly not as professional as, as I'd prefer it. Someone's someone's got to do it. <laughs> it wasn't Sauce; it was me. So, uh, oh no, I think Sean showed that uh, you know he's batting four and five for Western Australia. Um, he's opened the batting for Australia before. He's batted three for Australia. Um, I think one of his great strengths, and the, I would imagine the reason the selectors have picked him is because he can bat anywhere in the order. So, uh, for him, it's an opportunity in this game opening the batting. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters where you bat. If you score and runs, you, you're putting pressure on the selectors to um, to try and pick you. But, um, yeah, there's 11 spots. Someone's got <laughs> someone's going to go there, and it wasn't going to be me. <laughs> love Diz, great fella, unbelievable bloke, and I, I really love playing with him, but couldn't care less right now who coaches England. Uh, I'm really focused on um, trying to beat the West Indies team here. Uh, yeah, I'll worry about England. I'll have to 